All right, hey y'all, it is now at long last time for breakouts. So we heard from the few this morning and now we're gonna hear from everyone, that's the plan. And we're gonna be talking about some different aspects of XR and accessibility. Um, we have 10 total sessions grouped into two groups of five. So we have group A to my left and group B to my right, and they will give a sentence of what their breakout is going to be about. So the general schedule that we're looking for is from about 2.30 to 3.20. We're gonna be in the group A breakout. And in, then at we'll have a little 10 minute break. And at 3.30 to 4.20, we will have breakout B. I am very much an afternoon sleep brain and I forgot to introduce myself, my apologies. <laughs> um, my name is Danielle Montour and I am the community manager with XR Access. And so I'm really glad to be here and I will pass it off to group A to start giving little one sentence, maybe two sentence breakdowns of their what they're gonna be talking about. <laughs> I thought we were going in the order. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Lucy. I'm a first year PhD student, or I just finished my first year. And if you're interested in 360 video descriptions, particularly how to make videos not just understandable, but also immersive and equitable for people who are blind or have low vision, um, I would encourage you to join our breakout. Thank you. I'm sneaking behind you. Hi, my name is Michael Cooper. I'm from the World Wide Web Consortium. I'm running a, a breakout on captions. I've prepared some questions about what we know so far, what we want it to be, and how we're gonna make that happen. Hey everyone, I'm uh, Liv. I work at Mozilla, and I'm going to be holding a breakout spe uh, session on spatial computing and data. So uh, if you are interested in chatting about the intersection of generative AI working with uh, large data sets and spatial computing, I would love to chat with you. I kind of want to be in that one, but I'm Liz Hyman. <laughs> um, I will be doing a breakout session on public policy. So, uh, you know, this is a big marketplace of ideas and we need to make sure that we're educating uh, public policy makers and thought leaders about the technology, what some of the shortcomings are, what some of the uh, incredible use cases are, and what do we need to do to advance the things that we care about. So, I will be doing that. Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Beekoff Brett. Uh, my background is actually as a youth worker initially, working with marginalized communities across London, um, basically supporting young people from, who face great adversities into employment, education, and training. My workshop is going to be on, or well, my breakout is going to be on customization. So if you're looking at how we can customize XR products in order to remove barriers to participation for wide audiences, uh, wide range of audiences, then uh, come and see me. I be the first B, uh, Greg. Well, I will be talking about user research, as it says, so it's about the person, uh, but not research about one person, but research really about groups of people. So what are some of the issues and some of the opportunities when you have larger groups of people you're trying to study in XR? Hello, my name is Will Shell. I'm an attorney in the Federal Communications Commission. I have the honor of moderating the most exciting um, one, which is standards. Uh, it's coming, it seems like it's coming, just like um, all the other developments in this space. Um, we should definitely have a discussion about what standards should look like, what are good standards versus bad standards, um, who's gonna make those standards, and what would they actually mean in a, a very diverse, kind of a, a hard to pin down forum like this. Hey everyone, uh, I'm Sean Doherty and I'm here with Jeffrey Colon as well. Uh, we're with Lighthouse San Francisco. Uh, we're hosting a breakout this afternoon on exploring uh, accessible VR for blind users. So we're gonna talk about some of the challenges, uh, some of the areas of opportunity, and we're hoping to have a, a nice engaging discussion to understand what everyone's working on and what we can all do to work together.
Hi everyone, my name is Ria Galano and I'm a PhD student at Cornell University. Today I will be leading a breakout on inclusive avatars, so if you are interested in participating in a mixture of small group and large group discussions on a current gaps in uh, customization process and customization features, and then talking about the solutions, um, you should come join. Hi everyone, I'm Mark Steelman. Uh, I'm a Unity engineer at Transfer and also a XR Access working group member. And it's uh, good to be back on the Cornell Tech campus after a few years. Um, Transfer, we try to help people uh, get jobs using XR and I will be leading a breakout session on accessible career development and trying to uh, see how we can help people with disabilities get jobs and make uh, yeah, career exploration and training uh, more accessible. Well, thank you all and have fun at your breakouts. Goodbye. <laughs> One thing real quick. What? Hi all, so, so just you know where, where everything's gonna be. Um, the uh, things are listed here. The classrooms are both upstairs. Uh, you go uh, either up the stairs and kind of around the corridor, or up the elevator and, and down the corridor. Um, the gallery is upstairs where the demo was. The auditorium is right here, and the uh, lobby is where the food was. Um, so 360 video descriptions are gonna be in classroom 215, captions in classroom 225, um, spatial computing and data in the gallery, um, policy in the auditorium here, um, customization in the lobby, and then when we switch to session B, classroom 215 is gonna be for user research, standards are gonna be in classroom 225, um, the Exploring Accessible VR for Blind Users is gonna be in the gallery, inclusive avatars in the auditorium, and uh, accessible career development in the lobby. So that's where the action's at. <laughs>